Hi Philip from TW White and Sons. We are delighted to acquire this um, beautiful 2019 Mazda 2 1.5 90 PS SEL Nav Plus. It's one owner car done 40,500 miles um, in superb condition. Last serviced June 23 at again 40,178 miles. Uh, wonderful car registered 11th of July 2019 in superb condition um, really great specification multi-spoke alloy wheels color coded door mirrors this particular version comes with parking sensors at the rear excellent load area space with load area cover uh, 60 40 split rear seat system we haven't even valeted this car we've just washed it in order to get it online um, as soon as possible and it's in great condition the car will come with 12 months Mazda approved warranty uh, encapsulating 12 months roadside assistance uh, we will carry out a full 101 point used car check on this vehicle we will be checking brake for brake pad wear, brake disc wear, condition of the wipers, vehicles, electrical systems, everything. Lights, indicators, a whole lot. Um, at TW White & Sons, we will take any car in part exchange against this vehicle. We'll be as competitive as any of the online companies that advertise on national television, those that wish to buy your car. We will be as competitive as they are while offering you... Um, exemplary standards of customer service lovely car this so you've got this very hard wearing and unmarked um, black cloth interior showing minimal signs of wear electric windows all around with electric power folding door mirrors um, this cloth that's on the seats here extends over to the door cards one touch um, electric window master control for electric windows are here sitting inside the vehicle first array of switches we come to are for Mazda's stop start uh, technology uh, lane departure warning system traction control tire pressure monitoring system and these very useful adjustable headlamps so we've already started the engine uh, it's keyless start this car um, 40,574 miles speedos in the center left hand side is tachometer right hand side here um, we have uh, the outside temperature uh, you've also got an average mpg at 48 we'll produce more than that it just depends on how the car's been driven over what distances and in what climatic conditions um, so very clear instrumentation uh, left hand side here um, of this multi-function steering wheel we've got integrated Bluetooth with voice control you've also got this info button which changes elements of this display so you can see there it's just giving us various statistics 63 miles left in the tank 48 mpg average mpg uh, constant readout obviously car stationary so it's not going to give you that um, average speed on the last journey around 27 miles an hour there it is very detailed right hand side of the steering wheel cruise control you've got auto wipers with variable speed on the intermittent and uh, all the wipers are focused and concentrated on this one stalk Left hand side here, auto lights with the inner part of the stalk does front and rear fog lamps. But really good specification with this car. You've also got here automatic climate control. So in its most basic but effective form, I hasten to add, select the temperature you want, uh, turn everything to automatic and it will direct the air and adjust the fan speeds according to the internal temperature of the vehicle. Now, some people love press AC obviously because uh, it's got air conditioning um, some people love uh, automatic climate control and and what they do is of course they just set everything to automatic dial in the temperature and away you go it does it all for you you don't have to worry about messing about with it this is the beauty of 
uh, ACC. If you wanted to, however, you can adjust it as a manual system. I've just turned on the side lights to give us a better view of this. Um, so you come off auto and just go to where you want the air to go, the directional control, come off auto on the fan speeds. And again, it'll operate as a manual system. Uh, here, CD slot, 12 volt power socketry, twin USB inputs, and this little chap down here uh, contains the, um, behind this cover, contains a SD card which uh, operates the satellite navigation. Uh, five speed manual gearbox, beautifully shifting, very short throws between the gears, excellent road holding and handling on this vehicle, an excellent performance 90 PS engine. Uh, main navigation wheel, uh, flanked and surrounded by a, an array of switches. So star button uh, is a favourites button. So you can set up favourites through your uh, um, phone book, through your uh, addresses for sat nav, radio stations, etc. Back button, nav button, home screen music, main navigation wheel, which takes you through all this sort of um, menu here. And in fact, uh, whilst we're, we're, we're on this, uh, we may as well uh, just have a look here. You've got DAB radio. Um, now this screen here is touch screen, as long as you're stationary. As soon as you move off in the car, the touch screen becomes disabled. So you keep your eyes on the, on the road as opposed to the center screen. Um, if you're out driving in the car, you can operate things through the main navigation wheel. So the Purposes, for purposes of this demonstration, because you don't want to see my paws uh, over the screen here, what you want to see is an uh, effective demonstration of the vehicle. So I'm going to do it using the main navigation uh, wheel here. So you've got DAB radio, you've also got FM AM. Back button here, your home screen looks like this. There's the music menu we've just been into. You've also got applications here, fuel economy monitor, car features i-stop. If you are i-stop ready on this vehicle um, and you pulled up to a set of traffic lights happen to be red, uh, the engine would stop. Uh, when they turn green again or where, where it, if there's sufficient charge in the battery, if they turn green um, and you just depress the clutch, the engine will start again. Stop start technology has uh, tremendous advantages for the environment and on your pocket as well. Saves you a fortune in fuel. Um, home screen. Go back into applications. Vehicle status monitor. Maintenance. So maintenance schedules off, but as I've told you, it was last serviced in June 23 at 40, about 500 miles ago. It doesn't need a service. We will be carrying out a uh, full 101 point used car check as I've mentioned earlier. Home screen here, integrated Bluetooth with voice control, connect up a phone, satellite navigation, that's its nighttime screen, this is its daytime screen. Uh, input where you want to go, find address, town or postcode, you can set up home, places etc. Very simple, I like this, places nearby. So. If I wanted to find something, say, uh, I don't know, a restaurant, because I'm always eating, a uh, restaurant there, search the local area, and it comes up with a range of options. Decide which one you want to go to, highlight it, execute the command, and the sat-nav will assist you in getting that. You've got plenty of categories, banking, you know, all sorts of stuff. So that's your sat-nav on the daytime screen. This is it on the nighttime screen. Home screen, settings, display we're looking at, you can adjust it to an auto day and night modes, you can adjust the brightness, the contrast, safety, cars got smart city brake support, very useful for town driving, lane departure warning system, uh, you can set up all the warning parameters of, of that lane departure warning system, really good lane departure warning system because it assists you in keeping in the correct lane on a motorway or any road with markers. It warns you when you're drifting out of that lane as well. So um, lane departure warning system, really good to have it on this uh, Mazda 2. Sound, bass treble fader balance, automatic level control, which if you adjust this, 
it will adjust the sound level to compensate for any road or engine noise. Go back into this. Clock, 12 or 24 hour, and you can adjust the time zone, particularly useful if you're traveling through Europe. Door locks, you can adjust those. Indicators, you can adjust the volume there. Lighting, you can adjust the sensitivity of your auto headlights on. You can adjust your interior lights. So really good spec. You can tailor make this car to your own individual taste. System, uh, you can adjust language, English, whatever you want. Uh, temperature between Celsius and Fahrenheit. Distance between miles or kilometers. Home screen. And you, you've also got here... Um, rear parking sensors with on-screen display and the red banding as soon closer you get to a different uh, an object that red banding will get closer to the vehicle so a really good uh, system so there it is SEL nav plus 2019 done 40,574 miles 2019 believe it or not that is low mileage and the condition of this car is exemplary um really looking at its condition comes with full service history you'd think the car had done 20,000 miles to be honest fabulous value for money 12 months uh, uh, warranty will take any part exchange in against these Mazda 2s are pro proving really popular for us and for Mazda as a whole because it's a well made well built well put together vehicle that lasts years so if you're thinking of a smaller type car this is it beautifully finished Mazda 2 SEL nav plus finished in arctic white one owner from new full service history 40,500 miles will come fully prepared for sale if you want to find out more about this wonderful vehicle please go on to our website which is www.twwhiteandsons.co.uk thank you for watching